Welcome to the second annual LISD Smackdown Showdown flag football game. My name is Haley Burlew and I attend Hudson High School. And my name is Zach Dillon from Tecumseh High School. Two games of the flag football will be played by our students and teachers. Zach and I are here to give you a pre-game rundown. That's a lot of flag pulling for these teachers. You know, Haley, I've always wondered about the proper technique of the flag release. Well, Zach, you're in luck because we have some reporters on the field to show us just how to do it. All right. Flag football has been around before, man. And I'm going to teach you some of that flag etiquette. First up is the run and jump. The run and jump. This is the basic flag football attack. One, start with your left foot in front of your right in a runner's stance. Two, Begin your forward approach, gaining speed, but saving an explosive burst as you approach your target. Three, stab your body into the air like a spear, pulling the flag as you fly past your target. Second is the chameleon. The chameleon. This is an intermediate flag football skill. One, camouflage yourself in the environment. Two, position yourself directly in the field of play. Three, Notice the prone, spread eagle position of this player. Impressive. Four, wait for your target to approach. Number five, seconds before they reach you, levitate horizontally in one swift motion. Number six, swipe the flag from the belt of the target as they pass. The third and final one is all is fair in love and war. All is fair in love in flag football. This is the most advanced flag football technique. One, pick a very gullible target. Two, slowly approach the target. Three, prepare yourself to wear your heart on your jersey with feelings like concern, happiness, and love. This will distract your target. Four, place your right hand on their shoulder. This is your second distraction. Number five, Swipe their flag with your left hand, striking with lightning speed while the target is focused on your overwhelming emotion. With those techniques, you'll crush everyone in your path. Wow, I never realized it was so complicated. Did you also know that flag football first became popular during the 30s on military bases to kill time? Mm-hmm. And get this, it only costs 25 bucks to start your own flag football game with the help of the NFL. Heck, that's cheaper than a yearly gym membership. There's actually a pro flag football league. It was started in the summer of 2017 by former NFL superstar Michael Vick. And get, and get this, the pro referees, they make about $25 an hour. Wow, our refs get bread more than that. Well, that was a lot of information, but I'd like to learn more about the Tech Center. Oh, I've got that too. I've sent out reporters to talk to someone who's been at the Tech Center for almost 30 years. I think she might know some stuff. When I started working here, I was a senior in high school, 19 years old, and I was on the work experience program where I went to school half the day and came here half the day. I was hired on full time in September of 1986 at the age of 19, and I've been here for 31 years. In January of 1968, the LISD board was given permission to begin researching, offering vocational programming for Lenawee County. That didn't start out as the Tech Center as you know it today, it started out in different buildings. In September of 1970, the LISD Tech Center, then known as the VoTech Center, Vocational Technical Center, opened for its first set of students. So September of 1970 was our first offering. A lot of the courses are the same, but they may have encountered name changes and slight swings in curriculum. In that first year, we still had Building Trades 1 and 2, which now is Building Trades 1 and Residential Construction. We offered child care that first year. Now that course is called Education Careers and looks at a child from birth through high school through beyond. We offered Industrial Drafting that first year. This year, we offer Engineering Design and CAD. So keeping abreast of changing technology and changing needs, those courses change. When you work at a place such as the Tech Center for as long as I have, they become like your second family. So if you imagine fun times you've had with your family, a lot of those same things happen here from potlucks every other Friday or once a month to different spirit days that include the students as well. All three of my children have attended the LISD Tech Center. 
And what I have found is it not only showed them what they wanted to do, but also helped them see what they didn't want to do. And it didn't cost me tens of thousands of dollars of college money for them to say, I don't like this. Um, one daughter thought she liked graphic imaging and decided she didn't even like the color. So why would she like graphic imaging? One daughter thought she'd like healthcare and can't stand the sight of blood. So I think it encourages them to seek out multiple fields and not just focus on one, as well as providing leadership opportunities. You get your job skills down pat, interviewing, resumes, letter writing. We have opportunities for scholarships here through the Tech Center that aren't available outside of the Tech Center. Um, encouraging students to go beyond their, their square of their high school reach out and find something different. When you walk through the door every day and sit down, what you're looking at is how you're going to help a student today. One example I can give you is a young man, it was probably two years ago, all I helped him do was log on the computer. And his response to me was, thank you for taking the time to care. That's exactly when you walk in the door every day, driving in every day, you're thinking about, okay, what student am I going to help today? You know, it's, it's true what they say about the most important people to know in a school are the bus drivers, the lunch ladies, and the custodians because they're the ones who are gonna set the tone for a student's day. I have adapted that as part of my way to start my day as well, is what student can I help today? And this is where we start our day, walking through these doors as the pioneers did before us. Okay, well I have a surprise for you. I have one of flag football's biggest fans, Banana Man. Good banana Man, oh, you know how much I love Banana, guys, Banana Man's here. This has been a long waited interview. So how long have you been a fan of flag football? Okay, so what do you like about flag football? Okay, wrong sport, but you're so strong. Hey, banana, oh, I, need, I, need you to, I need you to sign this for me, please. Just, yeah, right there. Yeah, please. Oh, my. <gasps> Thank you so much. Oh, he got, he signed my banana. Call, call me a banana man. We love these fans, but let's take a look at the matchup today. Mr. Myers, how you doing today? Doing well, how are you? I'm doing pretty great. I'm gonna be the next MVP in this next uh, upcoming teacher versus student football game. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Is this your notes? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't need that. You don't have a chance to I mean, you guys brought us, uh, I'd be surprised if we made it through the whole game. You guys probably haven't ran since high school. You clearly didn't watch last year's. My stats are better than your GPA. I mean, my GPA is about as many yards as you guys are going to get this game. We'll see about that. All right. See you later. It seems like it's getting pretty heated. Let's take a closer look at each team. This is Mitchell Leroy for the LISD TV News, coming to you live outside the field of the flag football. And I'm here with the team captains of the teachers. Courtney Thune, collision instructor. Jake Groff, culinary arts instructor. Well, we've done a little recruiting this year. We've uh, outsourced some people, uh, have some new staff here. Uh, we've gotten younger, I think more athletic. I think you're gonna see a much faster, uh, more aggressive team this year from the teachers versus last year. Before you went into the field, what were your strengths against against the students that that doesn't have? You know, we we are a close knit group. We've uh, really practiced hard. We had a great week of practice coming into this, so we were prepared. We had a great game plan, and uh, we analyzed that game plan and executed to perfection. You know, the, the teaching staff might be a little bit older, uh, but we're much wiser. We know how to use our energy, we know how to use angles, our strength, um, and, and I really don't see the juniors being that much of a threat this year, I really don't. I think you're going to see a good variety, but I, I think you'll see a little bit of a dose of a West Coast offense, you know, something from the, from the Joe Montana 49ers era, reminiscent of that. You know, there's a couple football players in both sessions, so I would assume, you know, some of the football players, the local standouts will be, be the biggest threats. What was your rivalry between you and the students? Well, I, I would assume that there's always been a rivalry for a long time here, but this is just a two-year rivalry as far as the... Uh... Yeah, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident. I enjoy getting out, interacting with my students. A lot of my students like to sit there in class and tell me how good athletes they are, and I like to tell them how good I used to be. So today, to, you know, today is the day that we get to show it and 
and, and showcase how good of athletes we either were or currently are. Last year we kind of came together as a group and tried to find some fun things to do as far as staff and students to interact and, and have a good time and, and one of the options was play a staff versus student flag football game. Uh, Lenawee County is a pretty good uh, football county so we wanted to extend that tradition between staff and students so that's how it became, came about last year. Who was your star player during the game? You know I think it's a team effort. You know there's no single person. David Hilliard, that quarterback, had a great game. Dan Canablo caught a touchdown pass. Doom here, he, he caught a couple. The defense was just stifling this week. We, we played well as a squad, as a unit, and that's what we do here as staff also. You know, in the next five years, I really kind of see us moving on to bigger and better things, to probably, hopefully, hosting at Adrian College or Siena Heights or something like that. Busting all the students and staff over there and making a real day out of it, you know? Really, really opening it up, having a great, great time as far as the football field. Last year we executed well, we came out with two wins. We've got one this year, and we're about to get that second one this afternoon. So you won three times in a row? You know it. We're almost a dynasty. One more win, we're considered a dynasty four in a row. Sheesh, talk about a dynamite team. That's right. Look at I mean, we're still ready, we're still running laps out there. I see. We're definitely going to win both morning and afternoon. You know, we won both games last year, and I really don't see anything stopping that from happening again. Morning, I'm going to say 22 to 12. In afternoon, I'm going to say 18 to 12. Teachers, both times. T tell me, how does it feel to win the game against the students? Well, it feels a lot like last year, because we didn't lose last year either. So. Uh, feels pretty much identical as it did last year. Hi, Mitchell Leroy, Games Beat. I'm hey, here with the student captain. Horace, Horace, what's his name? <laughs> so, Horace, <laughs> do you have a strong team to take down the teachers? I think we do. We're going to beat them with agility, <laughs> speediness. We're all the athletes here, so. I mean, there's some at 40, almost any 50. No wonder you out the <laughs> teachers. Exactly. We're going to dominate. There's some strong competition out there this year. I think we got it, though. But we're going to dominate. Put down. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. We're bolted in. This is Dallas Behringer live from LFSN. You can call me the Don. And I'm here with some of the fans here to watch the SmackDown Showdown, or whatever it's called, the second annual LISD flag football game against the students and the staff. So, you ma'am, tell me your name. Um, Sarah Giggler. How, how are you feeling right now? How do you feel about the game? You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Be awesome. Okay. Cold. Yeah, this is lovely. Now, and I use that term loosely, weather, we're having here. So, anything else? Like any any certain players you're, root, you're rooting for? Um, we're rooting for Ma 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 Michaela and Corinda, who are part of Education Careers. Woo! <laughs> education Careers. Well, hope you have a good time. All right. I mean, my team, student athlete after student athlete. We are quick. Quick. We can catch the ball. Catching. We got it all. Who is your star player on your team? Uh, we will consult that at the end of the game. I don't know who it is right now. We got a young team. I don't know why everyone has. Everyone has something up their sleeve. And we'll see what we got. Whoa! Come on, RJ. Definitely. We can a lot better than the teachers. Yeah. This is Dallas Behringer reporting from LSN at this beautiful, beautiful game we're having here. We're just waiting for the game to start. We got a couple of players from Adrian here. What is your name, sir? Uh, Jacob Powell. Jacob Powell. And uh, you, what is your name? Cooper. Yeah. Cooper? All right, so who are you rooting for today? Uh, the students. All right. Now, uh, you got uh, any players from your school that you're rooting for in particular? Not really. Not really. Just, just students in general. All right, that, that's awesome. Well, best of luck to you, best of luck to the students and the staff even. So uh, we'll be right back, only on LSN.
Dorothy. We have a teacher, Mrs. Pilby. Yeah. And I feel like she's gonna try she's to get in our way. But hmm. I think we got her. Yeah. We're all the same, everybody. I think, yeah. I think we got everyone. We're all stars. This is Dallas Berenger reporting live from LSN at the Showdown Smackdown, the second annual flag football game. And I'm here with, uh, what is your name, sir? My name is Dakota Honer. And you two. Can you state your names? All right, now, how are you feeling today? Feeling pretty good, dude. Yeah, how, uh, what do you think about this game right now? It's, it's pretty intense, dude. It's like, this is crazy. Once in a lifetime opportunity. It's great to see. Once in a lifetime, yeah. eh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could die. You could die today, right? Yeah, you definitely could die. You get your ankles snapped off playing this stuff. It's crazy, dude. You, you ain't playing, though. No, I'm so. not playing. You can... I'm, I'm, so. Not, I'm not good enough for this stuff. All right. So, who you rooting for, students or staff? Uh, I'm going to have to go with students on this one. All right. Like well, we fantastic team. nice to talk to you, Dakota. Thank you. We'll be back right here on LSN. Come on, RJ. What happens if your team if your team wins? Well, if we win, we get bragging rights. That's the first thing. <laughs> to the teachers. And another thing is that we can put them to the face that we won the whole entire school year. Yeah, well, we're pretty close with our teacher yeah. already. But, but we can get yeah, introduced to the other teachers that we don't know. This is Dallas Berenger reporting live at the Showdown Smackdown. But you can call me Melissa Conklin. And I'm here with one of our own, Liam, Liam Souls, is that correct? That is correct. All right, so how are you feeling today? I'm feeling wet. So am I, so am I. Uh, what do you think about this game? It's going pretty good. Um, teacher's going to get smacked. You really think so? All right. Good luck, Corey. Right, thank you. <laughs> I'm Mitchell. I'm Mitchell Leroy. Game speed. You know, Zach, the showdown flag football game is full of Cinderella stories. We've got the scoop on one of our own. Who wants to throw a spiral? You. Over the beach, son. Show me what you got, son. <laughs> good, good. Go. What are you? <laughs> Come on. Son. That's not the season yet. That is not basketball. This is a football! players are taking the field in just a few minutes. But we have one big thing that happens before the game can start. What's that? The future will be determined by the single flip of a coin. Welcome to the annual LISD teacher versus student.
student, flag football, smackdown, showdown. Heads, heads, tails, tails, teachers call it in the air. Everything has built up for this moment. I've been doing this my whole career. A whole week of preparation. There's no way we're gonna lose this toss. Please, come on. What day is this? Who are these people? Hey, I'm hungry. These kids have no idea what's coming. Heads, 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 heads. Huh. Where do you get that sandwich? That took forever. I went to the store. That gave me goosebumps, Zach. We just witnessed a truly breathtaking moment of history. Well, we have learned a lot today about flag football in our tech center today, and the blood, sweat, and bananas that go into it all. Well, I have one more fact for you, Haley. Flag football isn't just a wildly popular here in the good old US of A. It's also popular in other countries. They actually have a flag football world tournament. Well, that's great. That's our Showdown Smackdown show, and I'm Haley Berlue. And I'm Zach Dillon. Let's send it out to the sidelines to our LSN team.